everyone, welcome back and welcome to another London vlog. Here we are. So, first of all, I want to say Merry Christmas. We're getting really, really close to Christmas. Jack and I have come down for a little Christmassy trip in London. We're here for three nights. We've just checked in to the most amazing hotel. Just look at this room behind me. So we, they actually very kindly gave us an upgrade. So I think this is one of their like royal themed rooms. So I'm going to do a wee room tour, but you can see a wee pal William over in the corner there. I am wearing my dream sister Jane suit because I just couldn't hold off. I did think about wearing this like Christmas Eve and I might still do that, but I just thought this is going to be perfect for this trip. So here is our room. Sorry, you can see me in the mirror, but this is the bed. William up over there and we're actually I'm going to just slowly pan round like at the back of Buckingham Palace. I will sort the blinds maybe tomorrow I can show you a better view in fact I better don't know otherwise that's just silly. Okay here we go so yeah over there this is the back of Buckingham Palace so the hotel is called Ribbons at the Palace. We've actually just had afternoon tea downstairs so what I'll do is I'll include some shots of the afternoon tea. I actually didn't film it as part of this vlog just because I wasn't sure what the room was like and I didn't want to be sort of, you know, filming in the corner, um, you know, if people were having like lovely Christmassy afternoons. So I'll include some of the, so I'll include some of the wee stories that I took, but they didn't properly start the vlog down there because we literally just got off the train and went straight there because our train was delayed. They couldn't find the driver for the train. Um, <laughs> so welcome to this vlog. This is going to be a Christmassy, London trip. We are basically just having a nice time. We're going to some different restaurants that I haven't been before and I've actually not really been in London at Christmas so I just yeah I just want to see all the decorations, all the lights and definitely some Instagrammable Christmassy looking places as well. So hopefully I'll be able to take you along with me but welcome to the vlog. Our first stop that we're going to today is a place called Le Pont de la Tour which I think has got like a view of Tower Bridge so I'll update you once we get there but yeah thank you for joining and I hope you enjoy the video. Just before we go I thought I'd show you these little macron that they've popped in the room and I think that is icing sugar. I don't want to touch it but I'm pretty sure that is icing sugar along with the macron. How amazing. So I've just had a very quick little outfit change already because we're going somewhere different and it's like I think it's going to be like kind of winter wonderland ski chalet vibes. I've gone for like in a wintry white, although this is actually cream. I actually mentioned this, the skirt, in a previous video because I bought it from Vinted. The full thing is actually from Vinted. But yeah, I couldn't get my size, so it's, I actually got it like a size bigger and then got it altered, but I've ended up getting the full suit. It's H&M from, I think, earlier this year, but it's quite hard to get, but I did manage to find it on Vinted, if anyone's looking. So yeah, a fully Vinted outfit, but yes, I'm gonna head off now because Jack's downstairs, I'm probably running late. But this is look number two already, I suppose. We've just got off the subway and look at the shard. All spooky in the clouds. It is a wee bit of a misty day. But woo! Here I am, so of course, got my signature berry on. Or berry? Berry? Yeah. Yeah, so we're just walking to this place, Le Pont de la Tour. Hmm. Just thought to stop for a quick viewpoint video. It's very spooky moody vibes actually. This is us here finally. Here's the view. So just a wee update, that's us here. It's a bit of a shame because the weather is making it a bit cloudy and I don't know whether they normally have these like plastic covers over the, the view but you can't, you know, see the bridge as well, but it is very cute and quite festive. Very cute little Christmas tree. <gasps> just how magical is Tower Bridge? Honestly, I actually can't believe it myself. It is just stunning. I think this is the first time I've seen it lit up at night, to be honest. Have I just said to be honest twice? Maybe I have. Gorgeous. London skyline is just incredible. Oh my gosh, it just is so sparkly looking. So just a quick update, that's us back. I have done literally just like a whirlwind, get ready to head out for dinner. I am wearing this dress from Shop Everyday Elegance. I featured it in a reel recently. It is so stunning. It's got like 
jeweled bits here and down here. Sorry, this isn't the best mirror to show you, but I absolutely love this dress. We're heading out back to the Dorchester, which I featured in another vlog. Um, it's a restaurant called China Tax, like a Chinese restaurant. So we're going there for dinner. I am hoping that we might be able to sit at their piano bar, which is what we did the last time, but I'm not sure because apparently the seats are very limited. So this is us heading out for the evening. Very quickly, just before we go, I've popped this on, which again, I wore in my Edinburgh vlog. I, think I actually think I got this from like eBay years ago. It's just like this little furry thing, which makes things like a little bit more festive. <laughs> sort of end of evening catch up sorry I thought that was like something I think it's delighting um there's me filming in the background <laughs> the Dorchester was absolutely amazing I just loved it and yeah the piano was incredible I so I've included I think some clips of the pianist playing but I just wanted to explain sorry that's annoying me um a little about the first the first song that he sang that I actually got quite emotional about and I just feel like one of the things I would like to do going into next year is just being just like more open and sharing things being maybe more vulnerable as well so one thing that I was just so I guess moved by was I, I didn't know if we would get a table I was really you know anxious to get a table because I just wanted Jack to experience the Dorchester with the, the pianist playing and the beautiful decorations we sat there we managed to get a table and the first song that was played was Elton John, Your Song, which is just a really, really special song because it was actually one of the songs that was at my mum's service when she passed away five years ago. So it just, it just really meant a lot to me. And I just felt like this was totally a sign that maybe she was saying hi or I don't know. It just felt like a really, really special moment. And I... Yeah, I just think with my new sort of lifestyle change, I've not really been drinking alcohol and I just have felt, I'm just heading in a new direction and I just felt like that was a really lovely sign to me that, you know, things are going well. So yeah, but oh gosh, the lighting in here is quite harsh. I look so weird. I just wanted to share that because I felt like it was a really special moment for us. So I'm just going to get makeup all off cup of tea I think and ready for tomorrow so I will see you in the morning. Morning my loves so it's Saturday morning I wanted to show you my first outfit I've got on today so it's actually a bit exciting because a brand that I have loved for a long time you know I've purchased their clothing I've worn them on my Instagram they shared my reel when I was featuring one of their dresses it was the House of Gucci one and they then said would I be interested um, in a collaboration so they have sent me this look here which I am completely obsessed with I absolutely love it it's like Chanel Christmas Day it is gorgeous I'm not sure how the lighting is in here but I'm gonna do it like a wee close up I have actually just been filming a reel in it because I've been doing my kind of like everyday reels which with the glitching and all that was just to be honest getting a bit of a nightmare but I'm continuing on with it today because I am absolutely obsessed with this like actually look at the trim I'm gonna see if that will focus there sorry that was taking a wee second to focus but oh my goodness it's like sparkly I love it so I want to quickly just show you the other outfit that they very very kindly sent me so this is Madame Mayfair on Instagram I'm going to be sharing their page etc and I will link the looks in this video too but thank you very much I honestly am obsessed with this so how cute is this this is the wee note that was in the parcel from Madame Mayfair so oh my gosh you can see the second outfit oh, isn't it stunning so I've actually wanted a houndstooth cord for he just now like I don't have like a proper matching set so this is absolutely perfect I love the contrast trim like this is a bit of me it's very Chanel looking I love the buttons 
gorgeous. So I think I actually might wear this one today. I'm not actually sure. I'm trying to work out like where we're going in the colour schemes. <laughs> and oh, there's also like a little blouse that comes with it. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. The material is so soft. So it's like one of these like necktie blouses so you can wear it like longer or with a wee bow. Oh my goodness. Adorable. I'm just moving over here just to fill you in on what is happening the rest of today. Sorry, you can see my ring light in the background. That's because I was doing a bit of filming, as I said. So today we're now, we're actually heading off to the Ivy Chelsea for brunch at 11 o'clock. It's still quite early. I think it's only about half nine at the minute. So we might get like a wee cup of tea somewhere. Um, and then, yeah, we've got a couple of other places that we're going to later today. Again, hopefully quite Instagrammable. One of the places is 34 Mayfair, which there has been a slight, I don't want to say drama, but they're the place that has a huge bobble installation, like up the walls, along the ceiling. And I'm not going to lie, that's why I booked there. And they've not done it this year, so all over their Instagram there's all these comments like, where's the bobbles? <laughs> so it still looks as if they have a stunning display outside, but not the bobbles inside. Anyway, the only table I could get, wait to hear this, half ten. Half ten at night, which, I mean, I don't mind staying out late. I quite like, you know later evenings but half ten so <laughs> that was the only table I could get because of the bobble thing but now they're not even doing the bobble so I might call them to see if we could go any earlier but I, d I doubt it because it is a very popular place anyway that was just a whole lot of random chat this is the other Mayfair this is the other Madame Mayfair look let me just move that glass out of the way yeah I will definitely I think I might wear this one tomorrow because I'm hoping to go to like the Bond Street, the, the Cartier with the big bow. I've never actually seen it in real life, so yeah. Yeah, let me, I need to decide what to wear today, first of all. Oh my God, I am completely obsessed with this suit. I don't know if you can see it that well, but honestly, it is so cute. The details, I think this wee bit here, I just love. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this one today and then the red one tomorrow, I think, so. This is today's look from Madame Mayfair. What I've also got, which is maybe a bit much, but I am quite extra, is this hat. So it's like this. I know I'm a big fan of a beret, but sometimes I feel like with this look, it's almost looking like too much, like a costume sort of like really trying to be French looking. Whereas, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, oh god, that looks terrible. And other times I'm like, okay, no, it's kind of chic. I actually think I might wear this, but <laughs> I'll let you know how I get on. Maybe people will stare at me. But, oh my goodness, I am in love with this look. So we're at the Ivy in Chelsea, and this is the first time I've actually managed to see one of their installations in person. So this is the Grinch themed one. It is actually incredible. It's so big. So we're inside, but look how cute the menus are. All the Grinch themed, but I'm gonna have to admit something. It's terrible. I've actually never seen the Grinch, so I think I probably need to watch it. So she was really quickly. I'm really whispering because I'm not sure there's anyone in here. I just wanted to quickly show you the bathroom at the Ivy. How stunning is this? It is absolutely gorgeous. So just to fill you in, we have arrived at Neverland Winterland, which I booked and to be honest, I didn't even know what it was and we were, it was quite far away and I thought, oh no, this is going to be terrible, but actually it's really cute, like it's set up like sort of ski chalet, um, ski season kind of, I sort of in my little pod, kind of like ski lift. And then you can see over there, so there's like different booths and things that you can book and there's like a DJ. It is actually very festive. Hi everyone, please excuse this frizzy hair. I've just been blow drying it for the evening. Um, so we're back in for the day obviously, but now I am getting ready to go back out. Here is my makeup. Might need to touch it up a bit, I don't know if that's gone a bit smudgy there, but anyway. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, we've got this very late booking at half ten, so I am looking forward to it. I called them to see if they could do any earlier, but it was only like seven o'clock, which was just going to be too tight. So I think what we're going to do is go head down to the hotel bar because 
apparently they have live music and a singer on so I'm quite looking forward to seeing that. I want to just do a quick recap of today. So the Neverland Winterland was actually really good. Like it's one of those ones like honestly I was like what are we going to? Like, I have no idea where this is. And when we arrived outside it didn't you like you really couldn't tell what was going to be inside but actually I think they decorated it really well it was very festive kind of ski chalet chic I think it'd be quite good for like a group um like outing or something like that as well and I've just been on their Instagram and they're seeing I'm seeing their next like installation is going to be the spring one which they're doing I think is a kind of like Japanese inspired uh cherry blossom theme so that looks really really good so that and then we had the brunch at the Ivy which was it was amazing I love 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 the Ivy and the Ivy in Chelsea yeah it, I feel like it's one of just like the best ones like it's the one we have in Glasgow is that I don't definitely don't think it's as big as that and we never have the installations like that so anyway tonight I think I'm going to wear this House of CB dress I'll show you that I actually bought from eBay so yeah this is what I kind of do something to do with House of CB dresses is buy them second hand maybe wear them once or twice and then just resell them on because they're such good quality that they, they really do last but sometimes with dresses you don't maybe get as much wear out of them so I do think I'll probably resell this one eventually but I do love this dress I think it's called the Camilla maybe it's pink with the jewels around the neckline I will show it to you once it's on but yeah to be honest I have been quite tired so I'm trying to like slowly get ready you know that way when you do it in stages you're like Right, foundation's on, I'll sit down now. Okay, like concealer's on, I'll sit back down. I've kind of been like that, so Jack's way down to the bar. Anyway, I better go and I will update you before I leave. But I hope this vlog is going okay so far. It's always hard to tell with the vlogs. You're like, gosh, what have I been filming? Just utter nonsense. But I do feel as if I'm able to be a little bit more chatty and yeah. Um, okay, I will go and get ready. Okay, I'm just saying a quick hi before I head down to dinner because not to dinner to a bar because Jack's actually texted me to tell me to hurry up. So this is the dress I'm talking about. I'm sorry, the bathroom is a little bit messy behind me, but yeah, it's the Camilla from House of CB. Um, it's satin, so it is quite glam, but you know, it's not the most maybe comfortable dress for the evening. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Heading down now to the bar where Jack is. So yes, I will see you in a wee bit. So here we are at 34 Mayfair. I'm going to show you their decorations. It is really gorgeous. Look how cute this menu is. I absolutely love it. That is adorable. everyone please excuse this I was literally like this halfway through pulling my eyelash and I was like I didn't finish the vlog and I was like okay we just need to take them off so we're just back in to be honest I'm absolutely shattered the train it was really good but it just always feels so long on the way back it was like mm, almost five hours so it was quite long we're just in the door but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video we have had the best weekend like whenever i think of my memories of london of this weekend i just think of like the twinkling lights the beautiful decorations i hope that is going to translate in this video but honestly it was such a good 
weekend and I really actually didn't want to leave. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good have a good week everyone and I will see you for my next video. I'm probably going to have a few more videos over the next couple of weeks as there's just more things that I want to upload whilst they're kind of happening that I might do like little Christmas Eve vlog so I don't know when my next video will be but I think it will be before next Thursday so thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!